in Africa, Namibia, in the capital city, Vintuk, is an informal settlement, Havana. Here lies the site for the project Greening Havana. Havana is the most fastest growing informal settlement north of Vintuk. Here, about 29% of Vintuk's population reside. Since the school's establishment in 2007, it has been rapidly growing due to the influx of people into the area. So much so that the number of school growing children doubled between inception and technical documentation for the project. The existing facility is made out of prefabricated structures and tents, which is not enough to house the learners. The team was tasked to develop the Havana Primary School in order to be educated for its current and future learners. It should also uplift the community, provide lighting and a feeding program. The site is very steep, rocky and dry and has vegetation. On the western side of the site runs a narrow river. The team was faced with the following challenges, encroachment of informal settlements, the site terrain and its geological makeup, social, economic and security constraints, the lack of services on site and the extreme climate. The team had to ensure that their proposal bestowed the sense of ownership onto the community so the community could better maintain it and lastly to bring forth a design that would be usable all day due to the two-shift system that the school had developed. The team came up with a proposal which consisted of the following components admin, ablution and classroom blocks, guard and caretaker houses, a science and art building, library, multipurpose hall, workshop, pre-primary, food storage and a kiosk. The team proposed the use of sandbag construction, an east-west orientation, solar-powered lighting and geysers, security lighting, evening study facilities and grey water systems. Sandbag construction would make use of materials on site, create job opportunities through involving the community in the construction and also granting them with the skills and a sense of ownership. Sandbag construction is faster and cheaper than conventional brickwork construction. Its structure will be water, fire, sound and stormproof with very good thermal properties and structural integrity. The classroom furniture figuration allows for collaborative learning. A seating arrangement is flexible. What informed the design was the earlier mentioned challenges and of course green building design concepts. The new development can be best described as green. The reason for the east-west orientation is for all windows to be north-south facing and for photovoltaic panels to be placed on the roof. These will be north facing because the Mabi receives most of its sun from the north. The building's artwork will be done by the community to further involve them, giving the facility their identity. Once constructed, it will prove to meet Vitruvian's principles of architecture, durability, utility, undeniably, beauty. This brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for watching.